Hey guys, welcome to uh, my channel. Forgive me just a moment, let me turn this off, I apologize. First of all, where's my mouse? And why isn't it working? Okay, let me start that again. Hi YouTube, I just wanted to do a quick vlog about the uh, parts that I got all together with my whole kit. So, uh, as you look, uh, on the top of this it says it's the, uh, wait a minute, that's actually the bottom. <clears throat> Let's get that out of the way. Oh, where did my lid go? Oh yeah, wrong lid. Okay. This is the Arduino starter kit. Super starter kit. Now let's look over here. Right there is a remote control. Right here is a servo along with the gears and the constituent parts that you can put to the axle or whatever you're going to have with wheels. Here's your motor that's going to control whatever. Uh, here's uh, <clears throat> a joystick. Okay. Um, let's see. This right here is a sonar sensor. It's a sonar sensing device, so it can it can detect, I guess, sonar, uh, and it helps if, like, let's say, actually, I do have enough parts to build a robot, okay, a self-guided robot. It'll be a small robot, because I don't have a whole lot of extra parts, but whatever it is, whenever I get the wheels and all that stuff I need and all the other uh, accessories, um... I can build a self-guided robot utilizing this as a means for it to uh, guide itself. So it's sonar. It's a form of radar, basically. Very interesting, I thought, you know, this little starter kit. Very nice little starter kit. So the starter kit comes with the, the Arduino, which I've showed you before. Also with the Arduino shield and your prototype shield. This is a prototype shield that you can solder. Once you've uh, fabricated a fairly decent or uh, a circuit that you're fairly comfortable with uh, continuing on or uh, and you're finished improvising and you're ready to make a prototype out of it, you can just hot wire it right onto this, solder it right onto this little breadboard here. So that's what that is. It's a, it's a prototype shield, okay? And it... it it connects directly to the Arduino underneath. I'll show you it detaches here. So all you gotta do is just and pop it off. So that's the shield and that's the Arduino. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> so again, I got a gang of wiring, a gang of bus cords and stuff like that. This is all my LEDs, my capacitors, my transistors, my four-way LED, or I'm sorry, three-way LEDs. Uh, my little speakers are like little, they're not really speakers, I can't explain it. Uh, but anyway, uh, here's my mini Arduino, and I already got it uh, soldered to the breadboard. Or I got it soldered to its little pins now, so it's ready to go, and I got it, get, got it its own little breadboard, so... <clears throat> So I got two Arduinos. I got Arduino and an Arduino Mini. So, and again, here's another remote control that could ultimately control the servos and the motor and the other motor. I don't know why they give it a motor with a propeller. I'm not sure what that's about yet. Um, here's an LCD that came with it. Or, yeah, an LCD. Okay. Uh, here's also a series of integrated circuits. Some of them 555 timer chips. Some of them are just other random types of uh, integrated circuits. I just asked for various different kinds because I wanted to do, you know, run some diagnostics on them. See, I went to school for ma major plants technology <clears throat> and troubleshooting of major electronics. However, these are minor electronics, but I could still you know, test for continuity, and I can run my own diagnostics and figure out what each one of these little chips do instead of being told because I don't have a schematic on each one, so I'm going to have to kind of... I can probably find a schematic online, but I like the idea of just testing it myself, testing continuity and stuff, and uh, testing for ohms or resistance or whatever, and, or impedance, and finding out. Like the last example, I had a circuit where... Uh, a lot, like say this is the uh, chip I was using, eight of these uh, prongs on this side had different levels of impedance or, res or resistance. It had different levels of impedance which allowed me, 
with the help of a capacitor, the frequency of the capacitor helped me to time which LED lit up in succession after another. So that's what these chips do. They allow me to do a lot with just one little chip. That's why they call them integrated circuits. Transistors, you know, uh, I can do quite a bit with transistors too, but that usually these integrated circuits have a gang of transistors inside them. So very, my, very microscopic uh, transistors, that is. Here's a relay. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do with that yet. Um, here's a temperature sensor. Okay. Here's the remote control or remote sensor. All right. Um, not sure what this is yet. I haven't really decided. And it also has a little chip in it with a, a couple of LEDs. So I probably didn't even need to build that circuit. I probably could just send code directly to that and directly to that. And uh, it could have just ran on its own perhaps with a certain code. It came with two power supplies also these are power supplies you can hook a 9 volt battery into it down here or you can hook a usb up here and it's just simply a power source that you can change from 3.5 volts to 5 volts and i got a plenty of resistors another breadboard and plenty more of these kind of wires so that's my last circuit i built right there no yeah this is my last one i haven't showed you guys this Let's see if i got time here it's a very simply cir simple circuit. I'm using a four or three-way LED. There it is right there. I'll light it up once so you can see it. It's a three-way LED. And I say three-way because I only have three switches and I can only engage three colors with it. There's only four prongs, so <clears throat> it's definitely got to be a three-way and only one of those prongs is a ground. So it's definitely a, a three-way LED. So here we go. I'm going to give you an example of what it does one switch at a time. That's red, green, blue. Green, red, green, blue. Green, red, green, blue. See that? But I could do that with a integrated circuit instead of just using buttons. I could just do it on its own. So I was thinking about that, doing that in my next project. I'm going to put a bunch of LEDs in line.